Oh my god, and just like that. Thrust into the credits. Oh my goodness. I can put the controller down and just... Oh my good, I have so many goosebumps. This is just ridiculous, guys. How long have we been on this Let's Play? A long enough time, sure, but... Just a part of me just never wanted to end. Oh man. The Zoras, the Indiegogos, they're all reunited. Doing a nice little concert. That's so great. My goodness, this is such an awesome game. If you haven't been able to tell that I love this game from this L LP, then I just have not done my job, I guess, but... My goodness, I cannot believe it's over. At long last, it is, but... And I'm definitely gonna miss it. There's always gonna be a part of me that wants to just... Keep it going forever, but... We've gotta move on to get better things. Wait, where is this? What, ex what exactly are we looking at there? I'm not even sure, I wasn't paying too much attention. Oh, look, that rainbow just stretches forever. Freaking across, like, all of Termina. Ooh, I can hear some jazz music starting to kick up, I think. Yeah, so I guess it's just gonna kind of go to every area. Showing us what we've accomplished. How many people we've made happy. This game, even though it's not, like, the happiest game, obviously. With the whole apocalypse thing, but... It is a pretty happy game if you just think about like all the stuff that you do. Oh man, they're still bickering. Isn't that silly? And oh, yep, there he is. Yeah, you know Majora was stealing your moves, Egos to Icona. Oh, why are they all just like lined up there? It's like they already. It's like they're no. They know that they're in the credits and they're just standing there. Oh no. Okay. I know that Nintendo Carisan already did that, but it was it's just such a perfect like segue into that music, but no it segues into this music. And the postman running back to Clock Town. Well he he got his freedom, so why doesn't he just run away? Ooh. And the dancers, they're all dancing up in the milk bar, I guess. The guard's still watching them, that's hilarious. Good lord, I don't even know what to say right now. It's just... The emotions that I've had throughout this entire LP have just been so amazing and so great. It's been such an awesome journey, and you guys have been great with it. I know you guys all loved it too, and you're very sad to see it go. Oh, Romani! Yay! Oh, nice. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, she flips her hair back. Oh, she's so cool and cute. And Kremi is clapping in the background there. Oh, you can hear the epic music starting. Ooh, the bomb shop owners. Yay! Dungeon design. Oh my god, those people. You are freaking evil with the Stone Tower Temple, I tell ya. Yay, it's Grog and his fully grown cuckoos. Wow. Mm. Two character animators, really? Wow, that's kind of crazy. Okay. There's Ingo back there, Gorman, I guess. Is he, like, working at the milk bar now? What's that? I don't know. Jeez, I have just no freaking words to say. Oh my god, look at It's like Gabora guy from, the, like, the Smithy. Oh, and it's Guru Guru. He's still working that. And it's like everyone's here. It's just like in Romani, or at Lon Lon Ranch in Ocarina of Time, where they were all partying. That was so great. Ah, oh, Stone Tower. I won't miss you. I know that much. Yay, Pamela! Oh, Pamela and her dad. Oh, what's this? Everyone's lined up. <gasps> Anju, wearing her wedding dress. Looking so radiant. She's looking into someone's eyes. And that someone is at the same height as her. Yeah, so obviously what they intend to be showing there is that Cafe did indeed get the curse removed from him. I guess along with the destruction of Majora's Mask, he got he grew back to his normal size. And the wedding proceeded as planned. 
Man, Tingle. No one cares about your confetti. Come on. Oh, yeah. This storyline right here, this little story arc, is never really resolved, but... That tree right there, that's supposed to be the butler's son, and that's why he's praying there. You can't ever go back to that area, though, once you leave it at the beginning of the game, so... There's really nothing to show with that. A lot of people theorize, though, that, like... When you play the Song of Healing to heal yourself from being a Deku, you're actually healing the spirit of the butler's son. And that's where you get the mask from. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Well, Link. That's the end of another great adventure. So you just move right on and do whatever you gotta do. Executive producer. Sweet. And the final shot that we are rewarded with... Yep. Nice little carving of Link and the Skull Kid, the four giants, and the two fairies. Good gravy. Huh. <laughs> Soraya's song. Wow. Who saw that one coming? The end. I just cannot even believe that I'm staring at the screen right now, but that's it. That's the end of Majora's Mask, guys. I hope that you have all enjoyed it. As much as I have. I honestly feel like this is my best Let's Play so far. And I know that there's even more epic quests to come. But this is always going to have a special place in my heart. I hope. As one of the best Let's Plays I've done. So as far as what's next. What's coming up. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I ha I know that lots of people want me to kind of move on. With like more Zelda. And get go on to like Wind Waker and stuff. But I'm not sure, because I might be zelda out, and Wind Waker is such an awesome game, I don't want to, like, ruin it by not being into Zelda as I'm doing it. But, regardless, I do have a poll that I'll post a link to in the description here. And that poll is to tell me whether you want me to do Wind Waker, like, right after Majora's Mask here. And if you want, if that poll gets up to 75%, I've said, um, then it will... Then I will definitely do Wind Waker because that's enough of my audience to persuade me. But if it's anything less than that, then I'll have to just then I might not do Wind Waker. We'll see. Other than that, I don't really have any other games that I can think of right now. I kind of just want to take a break for a little bit. Uh, maybe get my Wii fixed and get back up on Kirby's Epic Yarn and stuff. So that's that. And as far as bonus episodes go, there are a few things that I still want to show, like the Kremia hug. Um, what happens if like, you lose the sun's mask and it's the cons hideout. All that kind of stuff. There's a few scenes like that. So, that's that. And, um... I don't know. What else? Just, I don't know. If, I don't even know how to end this. I'm so bad at goodbyes. But, that's it. So, feel free to let me know what you thought of this LP. I hope you all liked it. As I've said a million times now, I just need to shut up. And I'll just let you gaze at the screen for a little bit longer here. At that nice little white flower, the stump. Oh. That's that. I've got really nothing else to say. If I do have something to say that I forgot, it will be in the description as always. So without further ado, thank you everyone for watching. And until the next Let's Play, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you. And good night.